Today I'm going to show you the best deck to use when you don't have any evolutions. Obviously I think that Lava Loon Classic with the Evolved Barbarians is one of the best decks in the game, but if you guys don't have the Barbarian Evolution, then this is going to be one of the better decks for you to try and pick up. I wouldn't recommend um, focusing levels on this if you don't have it already leveled. Uh, I would just play one of the other decks, but the problem is Lava is really, really good with evolutions right now, and if you're not having evolutions, that's a big, big, like, um, disadvantage for you so I'm gonna be showing you this deck guys in case you don't have evolutions but you should try really hard to um, cough up some some cough up some dollars for <laughs> the barbarian evolution when they do come in the shop and you can also buy a wild card from the shop every season uh, we're gonna start up a balloon in the very back don't judge this play okay it's actually a good play because by the time the the mortar's dead, the balloon will be close to the lava hound. So it's not a bad play. Just gonna fireball arrows this musketeer. Because even though it's expensive, we need to do it to get the musk out. Because the musk is gonna shred my push. But if there's no musk, then there's not gonna be not anything he can. Oh God, he has a tornado. That wasn't part of the plan. Um, yeah, there's usually nothing they can do. Uh, when when you face cheap cycle decks like this, they usually just have one air troop. Uh, and in this case, it is the musketeer. So we were able to just kill the musketeer, get a bunch of damage. And even though he activated King with the with the tornado, we still got a ton of damage because he overcommitted. Um, he spent a lot of elixir. So he didn't have any counters for the skelly drags. Feels nice. Um, goes with the evolved mortar. Valkyrie is good, I think, in a few situations especially like defending evo mortars and stuff like obviously here i didn't use the valkyrie to to defend the evo mortar but i think it's still good because uh, we get a death bomb there and then i'm probably just gonna valk up here but like you can use the valkyrie to just tank evo mortar shots or just mortar shots or x bows or so it's very it's very interesting uh, this deck is going to be way harder to play than evolution barbarians because barbarians are really really broken um so, I mean, obviously, Lava is hard to master as well, but it's still going to be difficult to, like, play this deck compared to the other decks just because it's not as good, um, obviously, since it, since we're running Valk. Uh, Fireball Arrows is a popular combination, I feel like, um, with, like, people in mid-ladder. Like, you guys always come to me asking for Fireball Arrows stuff, and I've, like, never really liked Fireball Arrows, but I think it's actually a really good combination in this deck. So we're slowly chipping him away with these, uh, with these, hmm, hold on. I'm gonna go balloon like this. I'm gonna go Valk as well, a tank for this mortar. But yeah, I'm just slowly chipping away uh, with the spells. That's my goal. And then I think we just need one more pair of fireball arrows to end it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna skelly drags as quick as we can to take out this goblin and He's probably going to put another mortar down. We just need to try and cycle back to another fireball. Mm, or another arrow, sorry. And then we'll just fireball here. That should be game. Yeah, we should be able to just arrows here and GG. So we got a little close at the end, but we're playing slowly. We're playing patiently. And uh, yeah, we got that nice W against the mortar cycle deck, which uh, mortar is pretty popular around these uh, parts like Royal Champion. So good W. All right, we're facing Jesse from Extreme Cats. I typically won't recommend going Lava uh, first play, especially if you don't have Barbs, because Barbs are kind of a bailout card. If you go Lava first play, then you have Barbs for defense. But with this deck, we don't have any Barbs for de for to bail us out, so you got to be very careful. Um, I'll always typically wait for them to make the first play. I think it's uh, the best thing to do. Let's hmm, Skelly Drags Barb Barrel looks to me like Golem, uh, so I'm gonna go with probably a Lava here. Uh, I think it's a golem player. I could be wrong, but it's usually golem. Uh, yeah, so it is going to be golem, I think, with the lumberjack confirming that. Um, I'm actually trying to learn this golem pump deck um, on my mini account, on this account, actually. But I still have a few level 13 cards, so I can't quite play it yet. But the good thing is we have fireball arrows, so we could actually kill the electro dragon if we wanted to. I'm not going to do that here because I want to fireball his pump. Uh, when he plays his pump, so we're just gonna Mega Minion set that up. I might, yeah, I might arrow. I was gonna maybe arrows when it popped, but he gave me a really good arrows value because we're gonna get good damage on the tower and also on the E Dragon as well. So the E Dragon's gonna get taken to pretty low HP, and then we'll just go fireball this pump. Um, this deck is is manageable as long as you don't give him like huge pump value, because like if. If we just let the pump stay on the board, he's going to get 
the elixir advantage at all times and we definitely don't want that so we want to get the pump out as quick as we can and the easiest way to do that is with the fireball problem here is he does have evo barbs so it's going to be a little difficult to try and defend the evo barbs i'm going to go valkyrie i think we're one off a of fireball so yeah we can try and fireball his evo barbs and then i mean i of course i'd rather do the pump but i don't think we have like a choice i think we kind of have to fireball the, the evo barbs because i don't really have a counter like valkyrie doesn't really counter the evo barbs i would think um so we're any arrows here i'm gonna skelly drags as well just because we have to like counter this lumberjack because our tower is distracted by the golemite so that just wasn't good for us i don't think now we we have to try and use fireball arrows on offense to kill his e dragon or else i don't think we're gonna break through so this is gonna be tricky i think we can just go with the balloon early and then let's see if he gives us the opportunity to go fireball arrows. Oh, I think he is going to give us the opportunity. Okay, let's go fireball here. Fireball and arrows. Okay, and then we're going to go probably with a Valk here. And the Valk is going to get absolutely shredded, but I believe she's going to do the job. Uh, so very nice there. And uh, I think we can play defense for 13, 12 seconds. So we're good. Uh, that was scary, but the whole goal is to just not let him get an elixir advantage in single. So you want to fireball the pump and then, uh, yeah, just fireball arrows on his air troops. And that's that's that. This guy has a gamer tag from 2013 Black Ops 2 on the Xbox 360, bro. <laughs> he's got the X's. That's crazy to me. That's crazy. And he's playing Furnace. Good lord. Okay. So I actually think he's like, a, I don't know, a 13-year-old, I think. Because I've never seen anybody else play it with the Furnace. Um, like, like you have to be just, you just, yeah, you just have to, have, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's complicated, okay. It's complicated. I don't think that I'm playing a very skillful opponent just because he has the furnace, okay? But typically we want to balloon furnaces like that and never really go lava into a furnace. I feel like the furnace is just like a recipe for disaster. We don't typically want to do that. He's got a random deck, so we don't want to do anything crazy until I figure out what his air counters are and what his wind conditions are um or like his pressure cards so i know what i what what like to expect you know so i said no lavas into furnaces but this is a lava that's not meant to get damage it's meant to tank for his furnace so that's the whole reason i'm doing that i'm just going to go arrows on this goblin gang and then we'll just tank the minor damage because it's it's you know we're not playing minor control cycle okay we're, ne we're never going to tank we're never going to we're never going to be able to defend all that so um I could have got my Valk down fast. Of course, you have a minion horde. I could have got it down like to kill all the barrels or to kill all the goblins in the barrel, but I, I couldn't have played it fast enough, I don't think. So we're going to try and get these drags to connect here. He goes with the barbs. Okay, we get one drag to connect. And then I'm pretty sure we can just um, make a minion. I'd rather not fireball like the barbs. I just rather not. Okay, I'm fireballing the barbs. Um, uh, that was like the worst possible fireball. I was trying to get greedy and hit the goblins, but it just didn't work. So we're going to use a tombstone to tank for his furnace. If he plays for a furnace, I don't know if he's going to play a furnace. He does, of course. Um, I meant I didn't know what lane he was going to put the furnace in. And now we have to be careful because typically you don't want to go in with lava without your spells. The goal is to be back to arrows by the time this lava crosses the bridge. We're just going to Valkyrie here. I think it's a safe Valkyrie because it's going to help defend the rest of his cards as well. And as you can see, we're taking a little Spear Goblin damage, but I think that's fine. I'm actually going to Skelly Drags here and then Balloon. And then he has the Minion Horde, so we're just going to arrow quickly. There we go, baby. I don't see how he's going to stop us now. The Furnace is annoying, but we might be able to Fireball a Goblin gang. It depends. I th oh, he is poison. Okay. I'm actually going to go tombstone behind the tower. I don't think... Yeah. I thought he was going to play a goblin gang, but he he can't, like, defend with just the poison. So, um, weird mid-ladder menace deck, but we, uh, we were able to win. Basically, you always want to figure out, like, what he has to get damage and what he has to play defense and then work from there. And with that win, we actually got the ultimate champion. So that's kind of cool. Uh, next up, we've got Wawad. I've never, I don't think I've ever done a video where like half of it is in Royal and half of it is an ultimate champion, but that's kind of cool. I don't know. Um, Valkyrie is also good against Drill. Um, obviously, you just put the Valkyrie 
under the drill and then you go to town. I mean, it's just beautiful. Um, drill always gives me a, a lot of just annoyance, I guess, because usually it's paired with fireball. Um, <laughs> what is this? We Early season's so fun, bro. There's always so much just randomness to early season. It's always fun to play because you don't face the same decks over and over. Um, although that may be better to like push in the meta if we face like the same type of decks. It's definitely more fun to face all the, the weird decks like Wawad is running like Recruit. Rec oh. Yeah, we're not having fun anymore. Um... I think we honestly could go Valkyrie, like, on offense here, which isn't, isn't like, crazy. Um, we're going to go Fireball on the Zappies here. I think I'm going to go Mega Minion as well, because he could Tornado the Valk off. He's actually going to... Okay, that's that's smart. I think we're going to be able to take out this Golden Knight, though. Okay, so... This is acceptable, I guess. He's probably going to go Drill with this. I don't think we're going to take an Executioner hit. Do we? I think we do, actually. Hold on. Three. Yeah. The Bowler is four hits, but the XD is three hits. So it takes three hits from the tower before it gets a shot. So we were we were just a little little bit off there, but we're still in the damage lead, so this is good. Um, we're going to take out the Drill. Skellies are helping out, and I think we can go with a Balloon, honestly, too. I don't think that's a bad Balloon at all. He's going to XE again, but he doesn't have Tornado in Cycle. Um, we actually take that out too. So we're going to fireball here. I know he has zappies, but we got a hit there and we were able to kill the XE. And we're going to kill these zappies. So that was just really good because now we're up 1500. You always want to try and do that when they, when their count, when their counters are kind of like out of hand. Like I knew he didn't have NATO. Um, that's the most important thing. But now the freaking recruits, I don't know how we're going to deal with these. Um, we're going to go tombstone like this. I think skelly drags over here. They're going to start charging soon. This is scary. Um, they are charging, unfortunately. Um, and we go Valkyrie over here. I think that's the best place to put the Valkyrie. And we're gonna go Mega Minion. Oh, dude, the, the damage these recruits do is crazy. They're, like, super buffed, bro. Um, we're actually gonna go Tombstone in this Executioner to try and get him off the tower. Please. Okay, he's off the tower. That's good. I didn't know this guy had Mirror. Um, yeah, we went from, we went from like dominating to down because he had mirror. I didn't know he had mirror. That's a little unfortunate guys. It's just a little unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to go Skelly Drags Balloon once again, because I think that's the only play I can really do here. Thank you. Oh, I thought he was going to drill on, on defense. Mm, he doesn't. Uh, we're going to have to Mega Minion here because I can't let him align that. And he was forced to NATO on the balloon, so that's good for us. I think we honestly just have to try and, like, just shove a lava at the bridge here and, and get through. Because I don't know how we're going to be able to break through if we don't get this damage here. Um, we're going to have to go Tombstone. We're going to have to Skelly Drags here. I feel like I might have to Arrow as well. Um, actually, we don't. Okay, this is really good. So we're actually going to just... Hmm. I think we have to Arrow. And then I'm going to fireball. And I think if we can get back to another fireball arrows, we can actually win. But this is going to be really hard. So I'm going to plop the mega minion down because he's probably going to try like golden knight at the bridge. Okay, and then we're going to go tombstone high. I need to save Valkyrie for his drill. The drill is going right here. Oh, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Okay. This is really bad. This is really bad. There's no way. There's no way. No, bro. No. I thought the drill was going to... Oh, he got me, Chad. He got me. I thought he was going to put the drill in the corner. If I just put my Valkyrie in the right spot, I would have won. That's too bad. So the good thing is we can actually beat those weird off-meta decks. Um, sadly, I threw the last game, so that's really unfortunate. But uh, the, the thing is, it's possible. It's definitely possible. But um, yeah, bad play from me. But it was still a close game. So uh, I think the potential for a win was definitely there. So uh, typically against um, hog decks like this, where they have Firecracker Evolution, I will fireball the first Firecracker and then arrows the second one. Um, and then I have fireball back for the evolved one. But uh, I didn't have enough elixir to fireball it there, and I wanted to kill it to make sure that um, it wasn't going to chip on my tower. And also, I forced him to play extra defense on my counter push, so that was good. Now that his Valkyrie's out, I'm feeling safe about going with the Lava, since I have Tombstone in case he wants to go with the Hog. We'll see. What is he doing, my friending? What is he doing? Hello? Okay, he has a skeleton barrel. That's not fun. I don't like dealing with skeleton barrels. They are, uh, it's not really a good card, but it's it's good against my deck because it always forces out something. You can't really sack a skeleton barrel, you know? 
Um, so yeah, we're just gonna fireball, I guess. His well, hold on. Um, we're actually gonna. I don't know what he probably has a building. I don't know what he's running exactly yet. So I think we can honestly go drags in the middle here. I think that was a good play because, um, yeah, it, I didn't know he had Inferno Tower, but it was still a good play because it, it helps me defend or get more damage as well as the fact that, like, I don't know. It just, I feel like it's just good because if I force him to play more Elixir, like, on, on random defense, like, like when I say random defense, I mean he's focused on a Lava Loon push and then there's Skelly Drags and he's like, okay, well, now I have to protect my Firecracker, so... I think it's just always better to try and use troops to to do stuff if you can't um, if you can like spare the elixir or if it's actually gonna work. It's always just better to use troops instead of spells. Um, obviously, uh, certain times you're gonna need to use spells, but I think I just think that was the best play there. So that was good because I mean we're up a whole tower, so it definitely was a good play there. I'm going to go Skeleton Dragons like this. I'm actually going to go Valkyrie back here because uh, I know he has Evolved Firecracker and Cycle, so he's going to try and do some shenanigans with that. This Tombstone is, like, getting so much value, it's insane. We're actually going to Fireball this back, and he won't he won't get any hits, so that's nice. And, uh, yeah, typically, once I take that tower, I just go into, like, full turtle shell mode and just play a bunch of defense, and it usually works for me, so... Um, yeah, once again, we're just blocking the bridge. Once you can like, once you can take the pocket, it's such a good like, such a good play to just stuff troops like here. Um, there's really nothing you can do about it. So hope you guys enjoyed this deck. Um, it's it's a bit of a tough deck to play compared to the uh, classic lava with barbs, just because it's worse. But it is a good deck to play if you guys don't have evolution. So thank you guys for stopping by. Hit the like button and subscribe if you guys are new. Peace.